okay. there's another aspect of women in the industry. Yeah. And that's this whole issue of nudity. Okay. In videos, you know, the female vixens yeah. and the whole, you know, objectivism of women yeah. in the industry. So, for example, I heard that there's a certain male artist that has, um, has a poster or something where a woman's bum is his table. Yeah. I mean, that's an interesting choice of furniture, in my view. <laughs> but, um, I mean, what, what do you guys say to things like that? Because, obviously, we, we hear people on the blogs and everything complaining. For example, YJ got a lot of flack for her video, and I think Tiwa, a few yeah. couple, couple of videos ago as well. Why did you go to Lost Black Wives? Yeah, for her video, because, because, her, video. because apparently she was nude in her video. She appeared nude, she but she, she, appeared wasn't. she wasn't. She wasn't nude, nude. yeah, but so as I said, apparently. Like I think, I think um, you know, that is really sort of a question more for the image makers. For me, in that sense, for me, it's as long as there are not many more women behind the camera telling different kinds of stories, mm. you know, or different kinds of people telling different kinds of stories, if it's only one people, because people see things from, they see from their own lens. It's what mm. they see and what they want to project that they project. That's all they know. It goes back to the whole thing of telling multiple stories. But I understand that, okay, that's the only thing everyone is seeing mm. and they're getting tired of it. Yeah. But then as a director, that, let's not take that, eliminate that. I tell stories differently, yeah. mm -hmm. but I'm not one of those who be like, oh my God, she was wearing a bikini in the video. Mm. Like, <laughs> I mean, I probably could have, they could have had more of a, an art TV. Of, I mean, I've, I've done risque videos too. Like, TV was like hat strippers like doing mm, their yeah. thing. But you see, people saw it in a different way because I turned it into an art. And then they went, I mean, like, I just, I made it almost like it was an art. I wanted to shoot it beautifully. I wanted to, I wanted it to be like, I want to go learn how to jump on the pole. You know, do you understand mm. what I'm saying? I understand what she's saying. I think more people need to be behind the lens. I can tell different types of the same story. Mm -hmm. So you can still have a woman that is sensual, sexy, provocative, exciting, and then, but the people that are watching don't necessarily have to see it as meat. Yeah. Sexuality doesn't always have to be Thank you. I think that's what it is. You know, as a, as a person, as a woman, you are a sexual being. Mm. Yeah. As a person, full stop, you're also a sexual being, but it, sexuality it's how sexuality is portrayed, right. how that story is being told. Yeah. I think that's the issue. Shay, Shay, this question is particularly for you. Do you think that that restricts women? That, that you have to be, you know, you have to be sexy, you have to be Beyonce, you have to be really slim, or you have to be half naked in your video before your song will sell. So do you feel like that is a prerequisite when you're coming into the industry? N no. I mean, my first video, Loving Your Way, mm. it's very innocent. I mean, I had clothes on. It mm. wasn't any... had clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it, was, it, was very, it was very playful. It was just about falling in love with a guy, you know, that maybe yeah, may have been sweet, older may have been, yeah. yeah and then and then we had zero war you know but like Kemi said again um it was that was art it wasn't like it wasn't it was like oh done. see my ass see my yeah. you know we, we we covered it in a way we covered my my parts in a way where you couldn't really say oh she, this, this is disgusting or didn't she's naked it, as long as it was for purpose but what, what, my, my point is this though i think that that video is very we tried to make it as traditional as possible or at least depict that yeah? yes and if you go to certain villages and certain tribes, they are naked completely, the women. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Some only have beads around their waist. They're and jiggling, baby. And they're <laughs> jiggling and they're shaking. You know, and that was the <laughs> idea behind Irawa. You know, mm -hmm. obviously we couldn't go topless, but you know, that was the idea behind Irawa. Um, it's all about the perception. Can I just say, if you went topless, I don't think, I don't think Nigeria is ready <laughs> oh, for no. that. Oh no, 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 we would never have done that. But I, I'm just saying in a, in a way, because I had people say to me, oh, don't you think you revealed a bit too much? I don't have anything to reveal. Do you yeah. understand? Like anyway, but but aside from that, I think it, it's the it's in the mind of the perceiver. I exactly. think as well because the person that is in the video, he's just if it's a male with women shaking their asses around, mm -hmm. that's his in his mind mm -hmm. and the director. That's art. That's like you know, oh, yeah. we're doing this because that's what we believe that this is what people want to see. Mm -hmm. Some people don't want to see it. Some people do, and it's it's all art. It's in the mind of the perceiver. Yeah. I think you just have to be respectful as possible. Mm -hmm. I think the fear for a lot of people, especially the sort of critics, or you know, and people that are very concerned with objectification of women and all of that sort of thing, is that over sexualization where you are not seen beyond that. Like there's nothing else. No one people don't start to they don't see anything beyond yeah. body, sexy. That's mm. all. I think that's where it now becomes a big concern because sometimes I'm, I know I'm sure there are artists where some people don't even want to hear them sing again because yeah. eh, so she could sing. I didn't know. You know, some people go to, you see some people go to shows now, they have to sing a cappella so people can see. Yeah, they can, they can sing. sing, yeah. They have to prove their point that they can sing because 
that image has taken over so much mm. that people are paying for shows to just come and see you dance in, you know, knickers in the bra. Yeah. Nobody's really caring. They don't want to hear you sing. Just DJ play the music. Yeah. You know, that's just it. Actually, funny story. I remember <laughs> one time we went for, um, I, w I saw Ian, Ian perform yeah. and he was singing and I was like, dude, I didn't come here to hear you sing. <laughs> I came here to see you do Kuruka and wind your waist. I take what is this? Oh, I do the eye and, and look your lips. I think it was, it was a Banky's concert and then he finished singing and he was like, oh, you know, you guys know I can sing. And then he finished. And I remember me and my friends just looking at each other like, no, he didn't do that. <laughs> like, he's coming back. That's he's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we, yeah. we women too, yeah, we exactly. actually. You know, the, yeah. I think the thing is, once you're first fed an image for so long, you start, that's what you know. So, you, again, just going back, because it takes over. It's such strong images and such, such strong perceptions mm. as well that it takes over. And you, again, you see somebody in a, in a concert and they have to, please, a cappella, DJ, they don't do anything. And they have to sing to show that, I can't sing, go, yeah, just you remind you guys, I can't mm. sing, you know? So I think that's where there are dangers. You can cross lines. I think, that, I think that's where people should sort of still have a sense of responsibility. Mm. I think it's important. And also, it's respectable to the culture. I explore a lot in a lot of my videos, sensuality. I think the woman's body, mm -hmm. brain, everything about the woman is very exciting. It's one of the, the few angles you can play with when you are you're executing something visually. If you mm. see my video, there's always, I do it, but I do it in a very different way. Like, I don't, I don't know if you guys have seen the best video. <laughs> but it's very nice, by the way. If you haven't seen, you should go see it. Very good video. Also but then you see, the thing about it is like, this is how I, I, I played her being sexy. She was always like well dressed, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, there are times when she was uh, sitting on the jacuzzi or whatever. I mean, she had like little coochie thing going, mm -hmm. you know, going on. But then I wanted to play as exciting. She was drinking from the bottle. She was walking in glass. That is was my way of showing how sexy she was. And people see, I'm like, whoa, yeah, it was very, you it was know, still very like it's not me exactly. It's up to see her going like this. Mm -hmm. I have her like stroke like the inner thigh instead of um having bears like. Todd grab her her buttocks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you that, I would have, have him slide his hand down the side of her. So all of those things, they're thought processes mm -hmm. because, especially for a woman's body, we are not like, yeah, breasts and bottom. That's mm -hmm. like vulgar. Mm -hmm. But then when you, you touch a woman this way, those things are even more intimate than, yes, you yeah, know. Absolutely. And then for me, that's how I would interpret it on um, on camera, but for a guy, be like, yeah, so grab her, grab her, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But you think it's because you're a woman, so you know these little. Oh, but it's little little what, I know what I'm saying about different people behind the camera yeah. telling their story because that's exactly you, yeah. You're a woman, you know, you understand that your body is sensual, and you understand that there is a there is a certain kind of intimacy with touch. Yeah, yeah. That, and it's, it's a very very fine line between being vulgar and aggressive exactly. and being sensual and sweet. Yeah. Mm. And you know how to explore it. And that. it'll get and you see the thing about it like even women will be like, wow I wish somebody would touch me like that. <laughs> you know? Like no seriously. Like you wish somebody would touch me like that rather than oh my God they are objectifying her. <laughs> I think the answer to this question is we need more female need more video female directors. Yeah. You know? So this is a call out, literally. <laughs> or maybe, or maybe so, not. Yeah. No, 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 we do. Because I need to support. But that's another thing. I need, I need to support, support each other more. You know, yes. you guys are just fantastic. Because we've moved on to the next question. Oh, so yeah. there are a lot of times people say women tear each other down a lot. We are envious. We don't support each other. Is there sisterhood in the Nigerian entertainment business? Because this is what it's, we're saying. There's not enough women doing what they need to do mm -hmm. um, to cause the effect that they need to make. Mm -hmm in order for people to believe us as women, you understand? Mm -hmm. And I feel that there are certain females that are obviously gonna be like, no, this is mine, 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 mm -hmm. my space, my space, my, you know? Um, sadly, yes, there, there, there is all of that amongst the females in the, in the industry. I'm just being real, like everybody knows me for my real. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> I need to stop. I'm gonna watch myself back and be like, ah, I should not have said that. Um, but there's, there are, there's a lot of, you know, pretense, in, you know, with it amongst females. Oh, hi, how are you doing? Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh my God, you're doing it again. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie because women naturally even are not even like that anyway. Especially yeah. if you know, talk less of the ones that are friends and yeah. you know supposed to be friends, and talk less of the ones that yeah. are not friends. I mean, yeah. are you serious? There needs to be a support, you know, within amongst women. The needs yeah. we need to treat ourselves like sisters. Sometimes people say that the reason why we put other women down yeah. is because we're insecure. It's, so I do you think that? It's insecure, but it's about how you handle your insecurity. Security. So some people just need to put people down to to, to, to feel, validate themselves. 
Okay, but they're like, well, I'm a better person than you are. Oh, no, but you have to give your, put your hate in degrees. Like, for a long time, I hated Beyonce. No, and I will not lie to anyone. I hated Beyonce. Why? Why? But then you why? 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 why hate her? Why? But, you know, I mean, no, I knew why I hated her. Which is? <laughs> because how can one person be gorgeous, be talented, mm -hmm. be, I mean, she was just like, like why just one per and you're successful? Mm -hmm. Like she, like but it was she just, goes hard. Can I yeah. tell you though? But I don't hate her anymore. Uh -huh. After she, I don't know when she was got pregnant. Now I'm the, don't you talk about my Beyonce <laughs> like that? Oh yeah, both yeah, but that's because that's because she's become human to you. She's got a child. She's yeah. married and everything. But if she. Maybe, you know, if she didn't have that child, yeah. she was married, she was continuing with this yeah. whole perfection, you probably yeah. would still have that, what is wrong with this? Beyonce, I, I don't, I really don't care. <laughs> but no, I do my hating degrees. Degrees, you, know like, so you so got degrees of like, H. I, 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 I never really hated Beyonce. I was like, I beg, what is it? Because I think it was just, her, it was the hype was like, her girl was, was a bit too much at one point. I'm like, what's it? Only you. What is it? Only you. Everybody, the whole news headlines, the whole world. Okay, but then, coming, taking the conversation back to Nigeria, where do we see, where would you like to see Nigerian um, women in the entertainment industry in the next five years? So where would you like for us to be in the next five years? CEOs, executives okay. of labels, um, you know, TV channels, anything that has, that makes influence or causes influence over people's perception and mind, like let's start controlling these things. I mean, we've started already. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love Omaomi because she's the only female that I know that has her own label and she's signed to herself. The only female I know out here. I think it's so inspiring. More of us need to start writing the check and being the creative directors. I think it's way. happening because I mean you have like for it's instance happening. you have more voodoo coming in and yeah. you have Viola Ali. It's one thing doing all of that but we also there has to be some sort of camaraderie you know, with all women and appreciate, and it goes back, appreciate the person's craft, forget everything else, appreciate that she has a great voice and she's good at what she's doing. And she has her own niche and she's going, no matter what you do, you can hit her from here to tomorrow, but it's not going to stop a check from coming in unless you go baby bad mouth. And I've been in those kind of situations, but I, this is my own philosophy. The one that's supposed to be my own, no, will always Thank be mine. Thank you. And there's nothing you Thank can, you, you cannot Absolutely. take it away Thank from you. me. There's a warning that I have. If we do not support each other, even if you cannot stand me and I cannot stand you, if I cannot respect your craft yeah, exactly. and say, oh, there's this little thing happening or whatever, we will crumble and we will fail, we will fall because we will start to implode. Mm. Do you understand? And because there'll be nothing for us, there'll be not enough uh, foundation for us to be to rest on. Like they'll, they'll, yeah. it's like we're making this circle smaller and smaller, smaller yeah. until it disappears. Mm. Um, I honestly would love to have like mm. more, I mean, you know, female visionaries, yeah. people. Like it would be great. I I think think I what MI, I, look at what M I. Look at what M I. M I. Jesse Jags. M I. Ice Prince. Ice mm. Prince went on to go and win a BET award publicly on stage. This is an artist, a male artist, M mm. I, that basically put. Ice Somebody Prince on, yeah. put this person on, yeah. and those they became successful. Yeah. They're now making more avenues for other people to become mm. successful, creating jobs, yeah. creating, you know. Mm -hmm. For me, it extends sort of beyond entertainment. And okay. I, it's something that I, I, I always yeah. like kind of preach 24 hours a day, which is remembering that everything you're doing is not about yourself. Mm. You have to, you have to, especially, I think, especially as a woman, especially as a Ninja woman in this space. I always say, it's one thing you've been a woman, it's another thing in a Nigerian woman. Oh yeah. The, oh. the, the amount of things thrown at you is, is ridiculous. Heronous. I mean, there's no job you get without anybody thinking you can that to somebody. Yeah. yeah. But after a while, you just say, you don't even bother telling the story. Yeah. You just say, eh, who do you, how many do you think I've slept with now? You know, exactly. You just say, oh yeah, do you want to count them? But I think it's, we need to just not make, because I think sometimes we're making what isn't the thing the thing. And that's why I sort of agree with you with the whole going out and just trying to stay, uh, stay a few steps away mm -hmm. from the shenanigans of the If industry. that works for your yeah. personality. No, so yeah. even if you're right. doing it, I mean, even if you're doing it. you're doing it. I mean, okay. you are a musician. Mm -hmm. You have to be in front of the camera. Yeah. Yeah. That is part of that. your job, yeah. whether you like it or not. Yeah. You know, but I think there are some people who don't necessarily need to be as soaked up. That do, that yeah, works. In all the fame exactly, juice. Exactly, and everything as soaked up in it as, as, as they, they are. Because sometimes you just need a, a bit of an outside perspective yeah. mm. to just keep you focused on like the work. Exactly. And I, I, you know, focused on that and saying, look, it's not just about me, it's about every little girl coming behind me. I don't Thank feel, you. I know what it feels like when I go to a TV station or radio station where I've worked before or something, and you see a little, you see a, you know, a 15, 16 year old girl who's waiting for her jam results. And you know that, you know, 
people are just praying, ready to pray and pounce on this mm. person. And they're so ignorant and they're so naive because they're young, they have no idea. And you just feel like, because of this is all they see, then nobody tells them anything. No one's telling mm. them the real deal. They're not really seeing the work. Then the craft is not being celebrated. So they think that all you just need to do is just be around certain people, mm. look pretty, and that's it. And they keep giving getting the wrong impression. So I think it's just we need to just feel a sense of responsibility. Like, look, everybody coming after you, you're, you're trailblazing for somebody. Else. Yeah. Because somebody did it for you. If not, it's just yeah, like I mean it's it's, yeah. it's really simple. It's that, that's mm. it. That's it. Okay, okay guys. Thank you so much. This has been such a spirited conversation. Sorry, I think I was the other time. Yeah. <laughs> this is a spirited conversation. So, ladies, you heard it first here. So, if you're trying to get into the entertainment industry, it's all about your craft. You have to hone your craft in and you have to go hard. You have to be committed and you have to keep going at it. Don't listen to all the other noise. There are women, like women on my panel, who are doing it for themselves and being successful at it. So, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much for tuning in today. See you next time. Your craft. You have to hone your craft in and you have to go hard. You have to be committed and you have to keep going at it. Don't listen to all the other noise. There are women, like women on my panel, who are doing it for themselves and being successful at it. So I wish you all the best. Thank you very much for tuning in today. See you next time.